everyone, and welcome to the Mariella Show, our Easter show. Mm -hmm. Easter is a holy day of blessings, God's blessings, and celebrations. A beautiful day. Actually, it's the best day of the whole year as far as I'm concerned. Oh. I love Christmas, but Easter... I love Christmas, too. Christmas yeah. is the Easter and Christmas. That's right, Easter and Christmas, yeah. but to me, Easter's my favorite. There you go. Mm -hmm. So anyways, we have a very nice show for you today, but we're going to start off with prayer. So let's mm -hmm. begin. Okay, so Lord, we lift our hearts to you as the dawn breaks. May we carry the unity we share into every moment, knowing that we are one with the risen Christ. Lord, we lift our eyes to you. As the sun rises, may this moment stay with us, reminding us to look for the beautiful colors of promise in your word. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we lift our prayers to you. As the dew air falls. May we breathe this morning in and know that like the earth, you sustain us, keep us, and work within us always. And so we lift our voices to you. We celebrate the greatest day in the history when Jesus rose from death, defeated darkness, and bathed the world in stunning resurrection light. May we ever live to praise you. Amen. And Amen. this prayer is by author Renaud. Well, this now leads to our next segment. So welcome to our conversation starters. And I, my first question to you, yeah. Ella, is mm -hmm. what is one unusual tradition or ritual you'd like to make part of your Easter celebration? Well, I don't know about your family, but my family, I think I, I, I think I would like to be like singing more songs because, but there are not that many Easter songs. Uh -huh. Christmas time, we sing a lot of Christmas songs. I think I would want to add some, you know, some musical talent, some, you know, singing and all that. But I wish that some people would write like really nice Easter songs like they have written for Christmas. There are not that many except that Alleluia, but you know, uh, that's a really beautiful song, but that's like the only one. Yeah. Well, I would be going to church celebrating the Mass or Easter service, right? Mm -hmm. Celebrating our Lord and praising Him. I mean, because He died for us and for our salvation. And then I would have a nice Easter meal and then just enjoy family time and just love each other. So Mary, are you already looking forward to Easter ham? Every Easter we have that. <laughs> Baked ham oh, yes. with, with 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 pineapple sauce. Oh, if you be in Polish, do you also make cookies? Well, Polish people usually get the kielbasa, but my cholesterol cholesterol oh, level is I high know. enough. I mean, ham is already pretty well, it's a lot of mm -hmm. fat in it, but uh, we don't get the kielbasa like uh, like the typical Polish family gets. That's we right. uh, we pretty much have the baked ham, and hopefully, I think we'll probably add a nice French meat pie. That sounds oh, yeah. really, really nice. Mm -hmm. And is your husband going to make the French meat pie? Well, he did make it one time. It came out pretty good, but uh, mm -hmm. I think we're just going to pick it up. I don't want to make him work too hard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's holidays. You don't want to be yeah. Oh, yeah. in the kitchen. You want to enjoy. You just want to enjoy the enjoy food. Enjoy the family. Yeah, we'll just, let the yeah. professionals make it at the... Uh, that sounds those, pretty yeah. good today. Yeah, that we'll just pretty pick good it up today. and stick it in the oven and yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Well, yeah. I guess this now leads to our next segment. Well, it is Easter, my favorite time of the year, and I have a great recipe to share with you all. It is called Creamy Deviled Eggs. So let's just get started. The first thing you're going to need are eggs. The recipe actually called for 36, but I am only going to make nine. So there's the eggs, everyone. And then you're going to need mayonnaise, sweet pickle relish, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper. And this is optional, but you can use 
paprika, and parsley. So now let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to boil your eggs. Then your mayo, then your relish, your Dijon mustard, your salt, your pepper, And now since I rinsed my egg, we now cut the egg lengthwise. After that, what I like to do, everyone, is I like to just take a fork and I just basically try to like smash it, you know, like you do with mashed potatoes. <laughs> And then I added in the eggs. And now it's time to start mixing. So now you just take your egg mixture and you just fill up your egg. So this is the finished product. As you can tell, I added dried parsley and paprika. A wonderful dish for Easter. I can't wait to dig in. So this now brings us to the next segment. And this now leads to our last words. Yes, and Mary looked up a couple of nice quotes over here. So I'm going to do the biblical one over here. Okay. Quotes. Uh, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And that's what the Christian faith is all about, Yeah, right? about eternal life. All right, and I have another quote here, and it's very short and very simple. Oh, yes. And it's, by grace, we are saved through faith. And this is by Kevin J. Young. Mm, that's a nice very, one. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, take care, everybody. Have a wonderful and blessed, happy Easter. Yes. Yes. And remember, everybody, God loves you. And thank you, Jesus. Yeah, so take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah.